main pastoral study. Uh, it's useful to do this in white rather than in black because obviously the black will mix with the pastel as it's laid on the drawing. So um, the white is probably a better choice uh, of material to actually initially draw the subject in with. Now, as I've said, I'm going to be using two complementary colours. One is this uh, mid-red, um, it's like a cadmium mid-red, and the other is the green, the green which is the complement of the red on the colour wheel. And I will, in addition to that, be using some charcoal and the white chalk from time to time, just to help me develop um, the darkness of the tone a bit um, with the charcoal and some highlights with the white chalk. So I'll be using those four um, pieces of chalk for the entire drawing. Now, what I probably will start with is establishing the dark areas across the subject. And I can see already that um, on this side of the flower pot, where the light isn't quite getting to the um, shape in the same way as is in other places, I will probably just indicate by lightly going over it, as I did with the uh, colour mixing scales, just go lightly over it with some black charcoal. So I'm actually telling myself that that area is going to be more in shadow relative to the rest of the subject. Um, there is also dark down inside here, inside the flower pot. So that area there will have to be a little bit darker than elsewhere. Then there's also a sort of dark rim around the base of the ridge of the flower pot itself. There are other little touches of dark here and there, which obviously I'll go in as I proceed with the drawing. Probably this side of the ball of string is going to be a little bit darker than the right hand side. And certainly underneath here, underneath the little rake, there's a shadow creeping in. And down inside the watering can, at the bottom of the watering can. And where I have actually drawn in lightly the edge of the table behind here, it's also got a little bit of shadow created by the back of the table. Now, all these areas I will soften. I'm not going to leave uh, actually as granular looking as that. So I'm going to use my finger to soften them until I begin to develop the colour over the top. Um, this here is a shadow, a car shadow. And again, I'm just going to use a little bit of my charcoal just to show that. Very soft, the whole of the car shadow is very soft on the, on the back of the wall. Um, the top of the handle is also quite dark, or shall I say it's a darker tone than the front of the handle, which is clearly quite light. And here, underneath the handle, certainly at the bottom of the prongs. And in order to get this really dark green, I'm going to have to use a mixture of black and the color. Uh, there is some, because it's metal, there are some highlights on it, so I'm going to have to be careful about filling in the whole thing, just here and there, using this black to help me get the tones back down. Um, certainly along here.
Right, and that's probably sufficient. Oh, there's a bit on the side of the watering can. There's also some, a darker tone here. Now, all this will help to actually build up the solidity of the forms or their three-dimensional shape. The fact that um, one, in order they go back into shadow or back round where the light can't get to, it's useful to put some tone on, certainly on here on the handle. And on the bottom of the spout, usual charcoal on its side rather than on its end to, to, to create that. And that's sort of really a, most of the dark tones. And there are bits a bit more here and there. I mean, we could develop this a little bit further, I suppose. But 